Sea creatures, another level, another level above land animals. Nah, there's only like a handful of sea creatures that are like highly intelligent. The rest are like actually fucking dumb. Like super dumb. So dumb in fact people debate if they even have like any capacity of being like considered living. <laughs> but you have things like the octopus, dolphins, whales and shit that are like super smart. Sea creatures are carried by like the top tier intelligence. Everything else under that is actually fucking brain dead. Jellyfish literally just take up space and do nothing. Jellyfish have to be the most, like, the absolute epitome of wasted potential. What's the immortal jellyfish called again? Um, what's his actual name? I can't remember. Hold on. Uh, Turritopsis Dorney, is that the correct one? I think so. This is the one that resets its lifespan every time it gets too old. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. And it's not just when it gets too old, it's also when it gets damaged, too. It literally just resets. This thing is fucking immortal. And you know what it uses immortality to do? Nothing. It does nothing. It actually just fucking floats in an empty void, accomplishing nothing, learning nothing. It just floats and doesn't die. Forever. Imagine what it could do if it only just had some ambition, some dreams, some fucking aspirations. Is the reset Michael Jackson and Bungie? It doesn't though, Piet uh, Pietro. All it does is reset itself every single time. It stays perpetually stupid and useless. But it, it just, it's immortal. It is just immortal. Being immortal, it has no reason to evolve for survival. Yeah, isn't that so sad, though? <laughs> it reached, like, perfection in terms of longevity and put points into nothing else in the stat tree. Like, it will not die, but it will never do anything else. Ever. So it just will forever be mindlessly worthless. <laughs> Which is, it's so sad. Some monkey paw shit. <laughs> True. Yeah, a long time ago in the Garden of Eden, the jellyfish made a wish to be immortal and this is what it got. It's immortal, but it will never be able to have another single thought or chance to do anything. Thanks, Arisa, Julian. And the resub Starzy, the bit storm. Pretty sure it just means they're stuck that way forever. It's genuinely kind of sad. Yeah, it is. It's, it is wasted potential. 100% wasted potential. Fucking immortality and nothing to do with it. Absolute blunder. Fucking L jellyfish. Don't they say lobsters would live forever if they did, if they, would, what, don't they say lobsters could live forever if they could diet? I, I don't exactly know what you're saying, but I do believe there is a theory that lobsters could also live forever if they didn't have, like, predators. Like, they wouldn't die out of old age. I think that's, I think that's something I remember reading somewhere. They eventually die during molting. Oh, the shell kills them. Thanks to Tiro on Jube Jube in the resub baby.
Lobsters die because they're unable to move after getting too big. Theoretically, in a vacuum, you could get a lobster the size of a planet. That I don't believe. That sounds a little ridiculous. It's real. Well, I'm gonna look that shit up right now. Well, you know, there is a little merit to what you're saying. It seems like there's no real ceiling for them. They can kind of just keep growing, I guess. It looks like the largest lobster we've ever measured is right around 50-something pounds. Oh, actually, no, no, no. 44 pounds is the largest lobster we've ever uh, measured. But yeah, it seems like they... They could get bigger, they can. Just imagine there's a massive one somewhere on the seabed. I don't think that's going to be the case. I doubt that there's like a fucking 200 pound Goliath out there. Because I mean these... Fuck, this is a big lobster. <clears throat> like these puppies would... Like I, I don't think they'd be able to make it <laughs> like at that size. There's a cult to make a lo an immortal lobster called the Leviathan Lobster. Thanks to Tier 1 Royce. That would be super hype, but I don't think you could. Like, how, how would you? Or how could you? This is a really cute idea for the cult, though. They have a whole website dedicated to it to create the Leviathan Lobster. I used to work with the California Spiny Lobsters. Their DNA doesn't degrade the way most species do. It's able to repair itself. This doesn't mean they're immortal. They eventually grow so big they can't molt or can't eat enough to sustain themselves, but they don't experience DNA death in the same way. It's simplifying it a bit, but that's the gist. So theoretically, if you could give them enough to sustain themselves, how could you fix the, un the inability to molt? Could you, like, manually molt them? Like, massage their shell off? Pry it open, maybe? Maybe, but eventually the shell would just get too thick. But would that matter, though? Can't you just keep taking the shell off? Doesn't matter how... Th well, I mean, I guess if it gets, like, too thick, it'd just kill it outright. Thanks, the reset blunt. Yeah, we talked about that when it uh, first started popping off, Mashiro. The Portuguese Man of War. I'll look that up in a minute. Cool idea. I'd love to see if they could actually create the Leviathan Lobster. That shit would be so hype. Get like a kaiju-sized lobster. The only immortal animals are all aquatic ones. Yeah, but they're also fucking stupid, man. Like I said, this immortal jellyfish is such a bumbling idiot. It doesn't use its immortality for anything. Like, yeah, they figured out immortality. That's awesome. Use it for something. Stop wasting potential. Who do you got? Boogie or wings? Oh, I think wings wins that for sure. Yeah, I think, I think wings takes that. I am genuinely concerned about their health, though. At the end of the day, I hope both of them just walk away from it okay. Like, <laughs> like they live.
That was a thing in Gilgamesh that dude had immortality and didn't do anything because he had all the time in the world. Yeah, it's not comparable though. The jellyfish can't even have a thought. It can't even think. Because of global warming, fungi will probably evolve to infect humans. I see you've watched The Last of Us show. Is it Reseb Prelax? It is like an actual theory though. I've read up on that. <laughs> what have whales and dolphins accomplished in the 50 million years with their big brains? They fled back into the primordial ocean to do nothing forever. We've had tenth of their time on Earth and we've flown a helicopter on Mars. That sounded like real mean-spirited, like, like an actual grudge statement. He's the Risa Monsure. If dolphins are so smart, why can't they play video games? That's always what I say. Everyone's all, like, impressed in shit when, like, a crow can solve a puzzle, right? But I've never seen it beat the tutorial level of Cuphead. Trees have been around for millions of years and they still can't do shit. Honestly embarrassing. Oh yeah, plants shouldn't just get a free pass. There's so much research to suggest that plants have like some level of awareness. Like they make decisions. Um, what would, we, we went over this study on stream once where a plant growing towards the sunlight. They did a whole study about um, changing where the sunlight comes from and it changes its direction and the way that it grows. It was really interesting shit. But it's like, okay, so you guys have some level of processing power. Why are you still a fucking plant? Because they give us oxygen. So they're just cucks? What? They just work for us? When was that established? Fucking millions upon millions of years on this rock and they still just want to give us fucking oxygen without wanting anything for themselves? It's so embarrassing. Have some self-respect. <laughs> 